Greetings y'all, it's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. We're back here at American Outback. Uh, we got this uh, field plowed up, got it completely plowed and harvested in soybeans, so we need to harvest it. Already got the uh, case magnum down here with the auger wagon. Now I just need to bring the combine down, so let's tab to it. There it is. Now just back straight up. I kind of got this organized a little bit. All I got to do is back straight up to the implement here. And we're off. All right, we are on our way. We're rolling, uh, got these little power substations all over the map here, too. Played a few missions uh, since the last episode. Got uh, $49,000. Uh, I think I had a little more than that. I haven't bought anything. Oh, I think I had some wages or something that I had to pay off for a hired worker. And this is why I got the uh, larger harvester here, so I could tow my head around. Yeah, I know I could tow the other ones if I bought a uh, header cart, but uh, those things are so hard to get on and off the uh, the header carts. So I like this one. You can tow it right behind the combine and uh, just make one trip. All right, let's see. Did I make a wrong turn? Uh, I think I did. I got to back up here. Let me see if I can back this header cart up now into the cactus. Well, maybe not. Alright. Now we're going right. Need to go a little bit further down this road here. Still getting uh, oriented with this map here. Let's see, what field is that back there? That's a pretty big one back there. That must be six. Oh, seven's bigger. It's on the other side. And I haven't decided if I'm going to plow up that one between nine and eight yet. Uh, I was planning on just leaving it in grass, but uh, I don't know. Still haven't decided. I may go ahead and plow it and use it as a field. And I may not, because eventually we're going to have these other fields, and these will be more than enough, you know, for uh, a harvest. Let's see, where is this field? There it is. It's the one in between 10 and uh, 5. Over here. You can see the blue and green dot up there. That's the auger wagon. And There's one problem. I have noticed this. That's why they need to fix the railroad crossings. The tracks catch on this header. So... They need to fix that really bad. They need to put in uh, some crossings. I think they just forgot to. I don't know. But uh, definitely could use some railroad crossings. All right, this is where it gets tricky. I'm going to pull the cart over just right inside the opening there and detach it. And then I'm going to look for traffic, obviously. And I'm going to have to get this thing positioned to connect here. So I'm glad there's no fences here. You know, I got to thinking, this kind of looks like the uh, old Red Dead Redemption world a little bit, you know, out in the uh, the plains area. I want to get back to that game. I want to play that game again. That was a fun game. All right, unfold the harvester. And we're fixing to start our very first harvest here on American Outback, maybe, if everything goes to plan. Nothing ever goes to plan, let's face it. But, uh, so far, so good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go around the entire field here. And, um, uh, because I plowed it pretty close to the fence, I went back. Oh, I know what I bought. I bought a, uh, small coon plow. Just to go back and fine-tune this, because that was really hard to, uh, 
get this field straight with the uh, the big red plow. So I went and bought a smaller one just to just to kind of fine tune it on the edges here. So yeah, like what I like what I blah, 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 can't talk this morning. Like what uh, still can't talk. I'm gonna go around the field here cut the end rows and then uh, probably hire this out and then unload him if he's not full by then. And I reckon we'll just work backwards. This is the last field that I plowed and I stayed with it to make sure it uh, growed all the way. So we'll have to go up back up there just south of 13. Uh, and then over back to our original field, which is field one down there. But yeah, I think I'm going to get back to playing uh, Red Dead Redemption again. The, uh, the new Red Dead Redemption 2 is slated to come out this fall. 2017. Looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to the uh, the multiplayer part of it. If it's anything, you know, kind of similar to GTA 5 Online, it'll be worth it. I just wonder, okay, is it going to be a prequel? Is it going to be a sequel? What, uh, what, what's the deal with that? So... I have a feeling we'll have a little bit more information on it uh, here very soon. Maybe this month or in a couple months. So. But yeah, thinking about just doing a, uh, a playthrough of that game, of the original Red Dead Redemption. But yeah, these fields, I can I can plow this pretty close to the fence. As it is right now, I only have to do one round of end rows on the uh, edges. I could plow it closer to the fence, but I'd have to do two rounds of end rows, which wouldn't be a bad thing, I mean. But uh, I think this is fine right here. One, one round of end rows with the combine and with the planter would be okay. And then I should be able to hire it out without him hitting the fence, so... here maybe half a pass and what I'll probably do is go up drive up to the uh, Argo wagon and empty into it directly and then hire it out because I am getting well I'm a little over halfway full harvesting no soybeans though That looks good enough to me. Let's see now, which... There we go. I was on the header, that's why it wouldn't work. I was like, I know that's the right button. Let me empty into him real quick. And I think after this, I'm going to get the planter and uh, do canola, I think. Take a look at prices here. Yeah, we'll plant some canola. 
I'd really I want to see what max capacity is. Hopefully I'll be able to see it with uh, this soybean harvest. Whoa, I just turned the harvester off. Here we go. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is just hire this out and let him roll. He shouldn't hit the uh, the edges. And I'm gonna tab over to this guy. Get him down there. I've already got it switched over to canola. I actually need to get some seed and fur first. And I was so happy I was I was, forgot to buy these tanks and I was out of money. And I was so happy to see they're already here for me. So thought that was pretty cool. Head on up that way. And I closed that hatch. I guess it opened back up when I drove by the seeds. And I don't want to turn here. That goes to the west side of town. Ooh, this thing's got a big horn on it. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I can hear the bow, bow. Red Dead Redemption, you know, uh, that's my impression of the the music from Red Dead Redemption. If you didn't didn't catch it, but uh, this just kind of feels like a Red Dead Redemption map. I think it stinks that you can't uh, download that on PS4. That should be a uh, a classic title that you should be able to download. It's available on Xbox One, so. Full he's getting. Does he have room to turn around or is this in the way? It might be in the way. Yep, he's blocked by it. Let me get it moved down here. There you go, sir. Yeah, he's got plenty of room to turn around. That other tractor might be in the way though. Let me move it too. Yeah, he got plenty of room. This was a good idea, I think, to plow this field up. Uh, I didn't need this much grass. There's grass elsewhere on the map. And I'll just start planting right here. Now, like I said, I am going to have to plant a uh, round first. So, but we'll get to that in a minute. I want to see how full he is. Let me turn that off. Get that one going. Oh well, he's not even half full yet, so he's good to go. Well, I'll wait before I plant and uh, let get this harvest done first. So yeah, if you're starting out this map, American Outback, I highly recommend plowing this these fields up because it gives you so much more um, than just field one and uh, unless you don't buy new equipment and stick with the, uh, the starting equipment you won't be able to afford very many of these fields at all I mean this I'm so glad I got the equipment and um, that these fields were available to plow I mean it took a little extra work but uh, I've got these nice big fields here now that I can harvest and uh, they, I guess I already owned them since they were grass fields maybe I don't know it didn't uh, prompt you to buy them so if it doesn't prompt you to buy them I'm gonna say we own them or if it doesn't prompt you to you know 
with the little bubble to for a mission or something like that. So I think it's fair game. Just takes a little work. So yeah, I highly recommend if you start this map, uh, you can put your money towards some good equipment like I got here, and uh, not not towards fields right away. We eventually we will get some fields. We'll start off probably with the smaller ones, uh, unless we just hit it rich on a uh, grain sale or something. So let's see what. Uh, I need to empty him on this next round. Yeah, it looks like we just got about ten to eleven thousand of each, except for soybean right now. Of course, that's going to change, but definitely need to. Uh, I want to see what the max capacity is. I probably need to do wheat because it's the higher yield. wonder what his t-shirt says. I'm trying to read it. S C or O maybe. Oh, that maybe those are numbers. 50 and 8. Uh, you can't tell what it says on the inside. I'm sure there's some hidden uh, some hidden meaning with that t-shirt. I wonder what the letters stand for. Or what's that, what actually is spelled out on his shirt. Uh, yeah, I need to empty that guy. Like, soonish. Can I make it? 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 It's gonna be close. Pipe out, pipe out. Come on, bro, hold up. Stop right there. Hold your horses. Right there. All right, and he should continue on. I'm glad I got the uh, the larger auger wagon too. Oh, I need to bring my truck down here. Let me get this emptied, and I'll bring the truck down. Otherwise, this auger wagon's gonna get full. But I'm, I'm glad I got the big one. Uh, this is a big one. It'll hold forty-three thousand liters in capacity. So. Yeah, let me go get my truck. There's my truck. Definitely gonna need this. Let's see, where am I in orientation here? I need to go left. And I like this cell point that it's lower. It's not really high up. All the other maps, you know, you have to kind of drive up them. They're a lot taller. This one's down kind of closer to the ground, which around here makes it more realistic a little more anyway I think the ones around here are pretty much flat at the uh, the grain places I feel like the snowman from Smoking the Bandit he's bounding down I actually am eastbound Well, you don't really want to crash off into these cactus, though. That would hurt. Oh, I need to turn here. See how this does on the tracks. Yeah, it did okay. Now, let's see, where do I need to come in here at? Probably... Just straight in like this, maybe. He's already past this point. I don't want him in really too far, but. Alright, let me tap back to the big guy. Here we go. I'll go ahead and go empty in him. Curious to see what our yield will be off of this. 
since we plowed these fields up. I don't want to see what the individual yield is just for this field. So far it's uh, 18,000 and something. But uh, we'll find out what the total yield is for soybeans off this field in the next episode. So uh, guys, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Grain Arcade. We'll see you next time.